thought you weren't getting Cooking Mama on Christmas. Well, guess what? You're getting Cooking Mama on Christmas. Let's go. Cavities. Aunt Myrna's party cheese salad. What atrocity is about to be unleashed on my fucking eyeballs? Let's go. It's time for Aunt Myrna's recipes. <laughs> Jesus. I don't have ears. Anybody want to give me a fucking ear warning? Holy shit. Yeah, I noticed now a number of my a number of my chatters have suddenly died from fright from the loudness of his fucking intro. Jesus Christ. It's a double header. That's right. Last week we did Aunt Myrna's recipe with the coleslaw. Amazing. This week we're doing party cheese salad. When I saw this is going to be an abomination. I can tell by the ingredients that are here. Let us take an analysis of the ingredients currently presented on the table. Excuse me. Excuse me, computer. I'm going to need you to stop that. We have uh, uh, unidentified red goo. That's not a good sign, but who knows? Maybe it's Aunt Myrna's, I don't know, uh, placenta. I don't know. Uh, then we have over here what appears to be cream cheese, crushed pineapple, sliced American cheese, lime jello, Cool Whip. Do you understand where we're going with this? This is going to be frightful. Oh, and there's a pot. Are they going to boil it? What's going to happen? Let's find out. Or make this in a <laughs> cooking with dementia. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Alabama, I was like, Goosh. I'm not sure about some of these ingredients, but then I tasted it and it's like a dessert. Uh, it's really cool. So let's get this thing started. We're going to cook all this on the stove. Then we're going to pour it in this glass dish, which I've never yes. used in my whole don't, life. Don't you noppers me. Don't you noppers me. You only give me nodders. I'm being, I'm being gaslit by noppers in chat. I'll have to. Notters my mom only. Gave me this, but I'm gonna Notters only dot com. What the hell is this? Have you ever eaten an entire tub or can of P Cool Whip before? Why would you even ask that? Who gave you polling privileges? Oh wait, it was me. God damn it! What is this nonsense? Let's res let can we get back to business? Yes, use this, and then we're gonna chill it. So it's gonna be awesome. Let's get started right now. Wait till you see this. I never would have put these ingredients together had it not. Okay, is that green peppers? Okay, hold on a second. We need to revise it. Let us reanalyze. So we have now confirmed this is pimentos, not placenta, but very close. This is shredded American cheese or cheddar cheese. This is cream cheese, Cool Whip, pecans, Lime Jello. I was correct about the lime Jello. Green peppers, and either more green peppers or celery, in addition to crushed pineapple. This. Oh, sorry, lemon. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I thought I was looking over here, and I I thought it said lime. It's lemon. I'm sorry. Oh. Oh my god, it's the yellow one instead of the green one. Shut the fuck up! Fucking pedants. You people. Ram Myrna. You got cream cheese, pimentos, Cool Whip, crushed nuts, any kind that you like. I'm using pecans. Lemon, or you can use lime jello, celery, bell pepper, pineapple. And a, it is celery and bell pepper. American cheese. Can you believe this? This is crazy. Let's go to the stove right now and get this thing started. Take your crushed pineapples. Yo, thanks for the gifted the one tier, one tier one sub, Boss Studio. Thank you so much. Posadas John, thank you for the tier one sub. Thank right, you so your, much. Uh, get your jello mix. You're gonna do one large jello, uh, lemon or lime. 
or you're going to do two small packets. I grabbed a large one. There you go. I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure what utensil to use for this. So, what? I'm just gonna mix it up right now. That's disgusting. It looks like he's. It, it looks like he's stirring like scrambled eggs, but it there's clear that there's the heat hasn't been on at all, and that this is just big unidentified chunks. Did we peek into the void? That was our brains resetting because we couldn't process what's going on in here. Look, do you notice the pixelization is making this pot look like it's like it has human hair? That's disturbing, isn't it? No, things are normal in the madness domain. There we go. I'm afraid later on if I use a wooden spoon, it's gonna stick to the wooden spoon. All right, so we're gonna get this all mixed up. It does, okay, yeah. Once the it, jello it is... This actually, yes, we've identified what this looks most like. It does look like if you turned a like like someone with fatty liver disease, if you turned their liver inside out, this is what it would look like. Dissolved. You're gonna add. I chopped up the cream cheese. You're gonna add all your cream cheese in there, and you're going to mix that until it totally mixes in, totally melts down. Cream cheese pretty much melted down. You can still see the chunks of pineapple in there. I think we're about ready to, to add the, the rest of the ingredients. We're gonna add the celery. chopped uh, celery. Celery. Bell peppers. No! Pimento. Ah! Uh. The nuts. We're gonna mix that in. Oh, this is making my head hurt to even watch this. The, 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 I feel like if I didn't know this channel any better, that this would be just actual trolling. This is the most putrid combination of ingredients I think I've witnessed on this channel. I think it might actually be as bad as, as some of like JCS Cobra or whatever his name is. I think this is all like, I think this is almost as bad as JCS. Or whatever is in JCS Cobra or JC Cobra, Cobra King. Yeah, I think it's get. I think we're pushing it. I can't even. The begin hamburger to apple pie. Yeah. Explain I don't know. to you how amazing tasting this was. It looks horrible, but I'm telling you, Aunt Myrna never has failed me yet, and I have had this. So I hope mine turns out as good as hers. Have as good as hers. I'll be in business. Okay, I've turned the flame off. I'm just You're mixing welcome. it in now. Thank you, Uncle Gumbald. What you have, what you've. This is like watching a live leak video. So go ahead and turn your flame off. I. There we go. And get it all mixed in. <laughs> all right. Here's a crucial ingredient. This is, no. Your whipped cream. Whip, whip, whipped cream and pimentos. Okay, guys. Whipped cream, cheddar cheese and pimentos and green peppers. But it's, it's totally good, everybody. It's going to taste fucking awesome. Those that those celery, those flavorless celery chunks that are going to interrupt your gooey vomit-like uh, nonsense. Haven't you ever wanted, haven't you ever wanted to know what it would taste like to suck bile out of a fucking gallbladder? Well, you know now. Let's get that out there. Oh, shut up. You fucking... You fucking people make making jokes so hard because you're like, well, yeah, actually, my niche kink is eating raw gallbladder. Shut up. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Gonna mix that in gently. Don't want to spill over. And I don't recommend using... Uh, it's the uh, Cool Whip. I don't recommend using imitation. I'm sorry, or... I'm sorry, but watching this, okay, I can see almost no difference between what we are looking at right now and a bowl of diarrhea. 
So anybody who would unironically consume this, I think you are just as bad as the, the shit eaters. Okay? This, I have seen... I have seen toilets that have been destroyed more beautifully than the pot that is sitting right here. That's how bad it is. This is horrible. This straight up looks like a fucking industrial accident. <laughs> It's frothy. It's frothing. <laughs> Fat free or sugar free because they, they have a different reaction. This, you want the regular, real Cool Whip or real whipped cream? No, those are different. Cool, re, cool Whip is not the same thing as whipped cream. Cool Whip is like, I can't even remember what they use. It's not. It's not like... It's not cream. They don't use cream. I think it's like, uh, fucking what? We look this up on another stream. Hold on, Cool Whip. It's hydrogenated yeah, it's hydrogenated vegetable oil, isn't it? Right. Let's see, ingredients. Here we go. Let's double check on this. I want to make sure I'm right. Yeah, it is. Skim milk, hydrogenated vegetable oil, palm and co coconut oils. Yeah, this shit is not cream. So if he tells you to use this stuff real cream whipped cream it's gonna change the consistency not that that matters anyway because this thing's consistency is like a fucking septic tank if you don't have cool whip just use real whipped cream creamiest you can find thickest you can find now i'm gonna move this off to the side i need my glass dish here then you're gonna pour it in the in the dish <laughs> Come on! Can we just get a replay with that sound it. effect? Come on, can we not just get the gag-worthy sound effect here? Just in listen. The, in the dish, carefully. It's so frothy. That's disgusting. Kind of mix it around so the pineapple is all throughout the... Uh, Make sure all your ingredients. I think that he could add a handful of human hair to this ingredient list, and I would want to eat it the exact same amount that I want to right now. That's how bad this is. It's all throughout the dish, okay? Take your spoon gently through. You can smell. Wow, the lemon and the pineapple are just busting out. And crazy enough, the just last step. Just busting out. Sprinkle on some cheese on top. <laughs> Guys, 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 totally. The p lemon and pineapple are just busting out of here, okay? They're just blasting. They're busting out. Fuck. Use American cheese. I wouldn't use a cheddar or a sharp because it's not going to have the same. It's American. I was being favorable by saying it was cheddar, but it's American. Shredded American. Putrid. Flavor effect. Now I'm going to chill this overnight, and then we're going to take a look at it in the morning. It's going to be solid. It's going to be cold. It's going to be sweet. It's going to be delicious. Okay, well, I realized I didn't have to wait overnight, and the family wants to try this out. So we've only been chilling this for about four hours. But as you can tell, it's completely solid and cold, and it looks beautiful. Look at that. Doesn't that look great? No. How awesome that looks. No, it doesn't look awesome at all. This is literally looks literally like pond scum. It looks like pond scum that has begun to gain sentience and develop an, a like a skin. Do you see this? It's, or fur maybe. All right. So let's uh let's Yeah, oh yeah, this is the thing. Okay, something you don't know about this channel. He, he doesn't eat the food. He, he feeds it to his guests. He usually eats something else. He's talked about this in multiple videos where he'll make food for his guests and, it, and he'll put like his dirty hands in it and then he doesn't even eat it. He was making, there's this one video where he was making like a, uh, he was making like a, like a crock pot meal and he had like, he had band-aids on his hands. You could see him, like he had like cuts and band-aid bandages on his hands and he was still making the food putrid he's like oh i'm not gonna have any of this because i'm on keto or something <laughs> i'm like dude yeah, i'm not kidding you this is one of my other ones shit's fucked Give up a little section here and try it out 
and you just cut it almost like a dessert and you just scoop it out. Look at, can you see it? It looks like a hairy omelet. Place it on a plate. Come on. There we go. Ah, yes, the food of the gods. This chunky, putrefied, coagulated, cold, pimento filled. It looks spongy, maybe? (laughs) This is Grimace's abortion? I don't know. I don't know. This looks like... I don't fucking even know anymore. This is bad. It almost has like a pudding effect. We're going to give that a try. Look at how beautiful that looks. Mmm. Wow. So good. I know it. Of course, I don't know if mine came out as good. So, here's to delicious tasting. Do you really think that looks like a face of enjoyment? Mmm. It blows my mind that it's so sweet and dessert-like and has all those vegetables in it. (laughs) And American cheese on top. It is really... Why is it crunchy? Because it has un it has fucking un okay, technically not uncooked, but basically uncooked celery and bell peppers. They've just been lightly boiled enough to make the jello set. That's why. That's why it's crunchy. That's why it sounds that's why it looks like and sounds like he's eating like regurgitation. I am not making it. Fuck you people. You want me to make a war crime in my fucking own kitchen? You make it. You make it. And then you can show it to me. And I'll watch your video making it. From the... Uh, yeah, there. I'll give the react. You detonate your own kitchen. Can't explain this to you guys. It's sweet. And it's crunchy. And it's got a custard feel to it on your tongue. It's beautiful. A All custard right, feel. This so it is. Family. It's spongy and jiggly. You guys have a good one, and I'll see you on the next episode. Take care. He looks like... He didn't... Okay, first didn't. thing we're going to do, medium sand... Uh, blah, blah, blah. Take two. All right, I'm going to chow on this, give some to the family. You guys have a good one, and I'll see you on the next episode. Take care. Fuck. That was bad, guys. Holy shit. Do we have more? You know what? Fuck it. This guy... This guy's got a lot of stuff. We could go watch more of this. I don't even care. That was, that was an atrocity. What do you want to watch this? The French onion soup? The bacon explosion. Do you want to try the bacon explosion? We'll do one more. Huh? Church chili? What's church chili? Okay. All right. We're doing it. We're doing it. In we go. They've gotten me into another one. We're apparently going to watch his put- putrid okay, here, chili. Over. We're gonna have. We're doing a double react. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> this is cooking mama with cooking dough. Oh my god! Holy moly! It's the first cooking mama with cooking dough. Subscribe for more cooking dough content and cooking mama too. Don't don't forget about. Going. Hey guys. Okay, today is my church event called the Chili Bowl, and what they do is they do flag football seven on seven teams, and they do a chili cook-off. So I've entered for the first time. I'm gonna try and win the chili uh, competition. Oh, I don't know how. Oh no. Maybe- 
So he's going to be feeding this to a lot of people. Keep that in mind as we watch this. This is a recurring theme with Jack's cooking, is that he cooks things that he feeds to a lot of other people and usually does not eat himself. Like I said last episode, he does this very frequently. Are we going to do a, a, an ingredient analysis? I mean, honestly, so far, the ingredient analysis does not look too bad. We got canned black beans. We got canned tomatoes. We got canned tomato paste, canned chipotles, canned green be beans, more beans, jar garlic, and <laughs> something else here. I don't really care. Everything is pre-bought. And, oh, you got a chocolate? Did you bring me a chocolate? No, that's your chocolate. Eh, eh, ah! Oh, it's fucking good. All right, let's do it. There's not much to say. He bought it all at the store already. Be three people that show up. There may be a hundred people show up. I have no idea. There's a secret ingredient. All I know is... <laughs> Fuck. That um, I've kind of altered some chilies and things I've liked in chilies I've done oh, from the past. Oh, he's got Lagunitis IPA. <laughs> Lagunitas, the, the Kingdom Hearts character who made a beer. Somebody told me about this beer. They're like, have you ever had Lagunitas or Lagunitis beer? And I'm like, that's a fucking Kingdom Hearts character. What? <laughs> so I've got it right I'm here. Uh, I'm just going to show you guys life. what I'm making. This will air after the competition. I'm probably never entering the competition again, so I don't care if people know my recipe. But I don't want them to know the recipe before the event happens. Okay, so it's all awesome ingredients. We've got salt and pepper for taste. Oh, boy. Two cans of pinto beans. What's this? What is the unknown? What is the unknown foil wrapped ingredient? What is he going to cart out? <laughs> I, is this going to be like a human hand or something? You don't want anyone stealing this recipe? <laughs> Listen, he can keep them, okay? I would never, ever steal Jack's recipes. Not because they're good, but because I don't want to kill my family. This is some of the magic. It's, it's the meat. It's the it's the nog from the creature. That's good to know. This is man uh, flesh. chipotles in adobo sauce. This is where the heat chipotles? for my chili is coming from right here. And that's it. I'm not putting any chili powder in or anything. It's going to be the smoky goodness of this. And then if I need chili powder, I'll put it in. But as far as I know, this is the recipe. Final recipe will be down below. And then I got a can of corn, tomato paste, IPA beer, La, La Guintas. This beer is an IPA. This is what I use on my sausage sliders. Guess what? You all can't shit on me for intentionally pr 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 pronouncing it Lagunitis because he said Laguintas. Laguintas? <laughs> yeah, Laguintas. Look, look, everyone else is doing, trying to say it like he said it. <laughs> I was right, Lagunitas. Ooh, ooh, it's, Remember, and it foamed up, got all caramely tasting. This is an amazing beer to cook with, okay? Long cork. Horse then you got beer. diced tomatoes, you got three things of black beans, garlic, two jars of your salsa, whatever salsa you like. We're going to dice up an onion. Hey, welcome I've got Parker Italian, sweet Italian sausage. And then let's clear this off because this is what's going to win it for me, I think, oh boy. is this beautiful smoked brisket. I cooked it for 12 hours. This is leftovers. Brisket? You guys remember last year I did, I had a smoked brisket and... It was, it was amazing. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this. Is that, uh, is that a work of art? Can you see that? Look at that outer <laughs> crust. Is that a geode? What? It's a fucking rock! <laughs> Why is it that color? <laughs> it's Fuck? literally car completely carbonized. <laughs> <laughs> When he said a brisket, I thought it was gonna be a, a letdown. I thought it was gonna be okay. So he's putting a kind of like a, like a, a uncommon meat. No, he's this is a burnt to a crisp brisket. This is fucked. This thing, this is a you could kill people with this. You could, you could fucking block a car's tire with this. <laughs> You could hold down your tent with this in the middle of a hurricane. This is a stone. <laughs> yeah, is one this grit. one of those? This is is this, yeah, it's a one grit exactly. <laughs> Holy fuck! It was cured in the ground for two hundred years. Mm. Yeah, what happened on the inside? It literally looks like it's like it's been petrified. Meat Santa. This is what you get. Yeah, this is the coal that everybody talks about on Christmas. There that. 
It's literally <laughs> shimmering from having <laughs> this is actual coal. So he fr- he cooked this fucking shit so hard that some of it is charcoal and some of it literally hardened into actual coal. <laughs> Have you ever coal. held a piece of like coal, like yeah, an actual? Yeah. Like, yeah, it looks like that. It's got like little <laughs> shimmery parts. Healthy. <laughs> oh yeah, that hey, you know. Okay. It's just gorgeous. So we're gonna. So why and how? There's a lot going on there. This this thing is... Okay, so there is a lot going on here. There appears to be a strange brown slimy thing dripping off the bottom. There's some strange whiteness here, which doesn't appear to be... I don't know what that is. I don't know if that's paper that's stuck on there. I don't know if that's putrefied fat. I don't know if that's cum. This is what a brisket should look like. Yeah, here, for those who don't know. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Take a look at the difference here, okay? A little yeah. bit of crispiness on the outside. Nice and cooked on the inside. Right, nice rendered fat. Camera a little. Oh, oops. There you go. Not that. <laughs> Why is the inside that color? It's like It's he... like five colors, and none yeah. of them are the color it's supposed to be. <laughs> yeah. That's why I asked if it was a geode. What's yeah, that? it's a fucking geode. Here, I'm going to move over so you two okay, can get back sorry. in better. No, no, no. You're doing great. <laughs> this is bad. This is very bad, okay? Very, very bad. Now, okay. So the interior color is fucked. Obviously, we've already made fun of the outside. The the cum stuff is here, and the dripping thing is really fucking with me because this is making me want to vomit. I think this guy needs a camera from this decade. No. You think that would improve things? You think it would improve things if we could see this in more detail? It's Jesus deep. Christ. No. We're going to cube it's this up and reheat all this. And this cooked for 12 hours. This is the meat. We're not using ground beef. Blech. Nobody uses ground beef anymore if you want to win a contest. So we're going to dice up this brisket. Down below is the seasoning I used on this brisket and then smoked it on my Traeger for 12 hours. Dude. Uh, you do not need, okay, let me tell you something. You don't need his seasoning mix because the only flavor that you're going to taste there is that of fire. If you were to lick a log that you picked out of a fireplace after like a five hour bonfire, it would taste identical <sighs> to this. Okay? I'm not kidding you. There is no seasoning on the planet. You could, you could dip this in concentrated ghost pepper and swallow it and it would taste the same as a log from your fireplace you can't taste anything through that much fucking coal <laughs> fuck it'll just taste like coal so you know everything i use but the key ingredient on this i'm gonna tell you right now i use ground swedish coffee and i think it was brown sugar and chili powder and uh, oh, onion and garlic. So, but it's uh, the exact description is down below. All right, probably the hardest thing what? we're gonna do is just cook our sausage. That's all we gotta cook. Everything else is already made. So, let's get that, get that in Again, the pan right it doesn't now. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter that it's covered. It could be covered in shit. Would still yeah, taste like baby. Taste Nothing like well. a sizzle. I love it. Oh, okay, yeah, this is when it gets interesting. This is when we put everything together. I love the meat. The meat's important. That's the key. Oh, so we'll put that much in for now. The cast iron. That's the brisket. Oh, Same with the sausage. I can't put all the Brand sausage Dango's, I want in. Dango's Most of it, it I can. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's about that it. Look a little better. All right, the sausage is a little yeah, better. Right, a little more. There we go. Well, that's the about it. Like going to drop my onions in there. Like <laughs> <laughs> beans. Onions. Natto. There we go. Black bean natto. Here's the corn. Okay, by the way, one of the problems here... These are not rinsed or anything. He's just pouring them straight from the can. So th this is going to be like ridiculously, ridiculously. Yeah, wash your goddamn beans. Yeah, this motherfucker has it. He's fucking wa not washing his beans. He put all the slime in. He's eating slimy he's beans. Eating slime. This is, he's fucking eating slimy beans. The juice has the nutrients. Okay. Somniostatic. 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 Hold on. Can Slime I just can sticker. I just reach out to you for a second? Can I just reach out for to a second? Do you think the nutrients really matter in a meal like this? Do you are you really gonna be when you're eating blackened stone brisket? 
by Jack's cooking, <laughs> you're thinking about the nutrients and not how the fuck you're going to avoid swallowing. <laughs> Slime drinker. If you don't wash the beans, you're going to get the bad farts. And it, it has indigestible bad. fiber in huge amounts from the starches. Mm -hmm. You will have the worst farts in your life. <laughs> thank you, Grime Dango. Thank, thank you for thank being you, explicit when I wasn't bold enough to. I need healthy, hard logs. Get the fuck out of here. What's wrong with you? So, you <laughs> so you're drinking the fucking bean goo? What is wrong with you people? Every time. I am always so disappointed. I have literally met raccoons that eat better than you. You fucks. <laughs> Tomatoes. The garlic. These <laughs> imps eating fucking bean juice. Take Not even the beans. Bean Come on. Come on. Bean slime. Bean spoon. Come on. You Why can do it. Come on. Come on. Oh, okay. That's oh, oh, what I'm oh, talking sorry. about. The indigestible starch is the nutrients. Okay, go eat, sand go, go eat fucking sawdust then. Yeah, you want some indigestible fibers? Eat your own hair. That's indigestible fiber. Oh, sure. I'll put that into my recipe. It's indigestible fiber. Right there. Salsa. I love how he oh, just put this in. Full. Somebody, Somebody's going to scoop into here and they're just going to pull out a fucking like weird lumpy <laughs> log of tomato paste. Oh, it's getting full. I don't know what I'm going to do. He didn't try to drink it. Beer in. It's going to be the water. Yes, it will crap. cook off the alcohol. I'm going to be cooking a long time on this. There we go. Beautiful. Look at it reacting and bubbling. And then. It's crying. That's what the it reason. I'm going to take first place. It's because of this magic right here. You think you can just dump you you think you can just dump a but this is the delusion of of Jack of Jack's cooking. Okay, first of all, he runs a cooking show on the internet where he teaches people to cook by literally videotaping himself eating raw meat and then like like stumbling slightly as he goes to turn off the camera as the literal like the bacteria from the chicken takes over his body. It, it, this guy, that's the arrogance. But the other, the other part of it is thinking that he's gonna take first place in a fucking chili contest by putting a can of chipotle peppers in there. <laughs> like literally, every other person who goes there is going to do the exact same thing. This is my secret ingredient, everybody. This is my secret ingredient. Everybody's secret ingredient is the exact same can of of chipotle peppers. Chipotle is in adobo sauce. Look at this. Okay, so I chopped up. All the chipotle peppers and the adobo sauce, it's all mixed in here now. Watch closely. I just took a quick if little taste. If for help, we'll know. To make sure it's perfect. It's a perfect balance of everything. The cubes of meat still look like a weird <laughs> Okay, so. That's because you had to cut them with like a saw. So they light, you know how like when you cut wood, it gets like kind of lighter because it's getting broken all sure, up. Sure, but it, it looked weird yeah. at the beginning too. Well, yeah, it did. The because it was just it was, a weird color. He has transmuted meat into, it's alchemy. This isn't a cooking channel, it's an alchemy channel. How to transmute <laughs> human uh, human flesh or perhaps animal flesh, hard to tell, uh, into diamonds. But he only got halfway. He ran out of energy. <laughs> he just got to carbon. Yeah, he just got to carbon, yeah. He just turned it in a call. Well, this, is the, this is the competition over here. Yeah, yeah. Now, all the teams are getting ready for seven on seven football. Okay. Stay all of these people are dead. <laughs> you, are, you are looking at a window into a past that can that, uh, a future a doomed future is what you're appearing at they ate the chili and it was just like a, a mass casualty event oh the botulism just broom, knocked him down Asian camps here and beach footballs here and cane ridge is here whoever missed, the, so. whoever missed the donia missed out one of the most glorious dm stream moments yep and they're gonna have to lose out until next christmas ah Oh, it's going to be interesting, and the young adults from church are here who think they're going to have a chance. All right, so let me show you what the table looks like, guys. All right, there's all your spoons and all your cups, and I'm not going to tell you which one is mine. I won't tell you which one is mine. Not at all. I can't tell you which one it is. Well, here's the other one. There's number two, number three, number seven. Hey, what happened to four and five and six? Oh, here's five. 
Okay, we're kind of out of order here. Whoa. It makes me nervous. Man, some of these are rough. These ones, are, some of these had some transportation incidents. Take a look at this one. This one's got chili all around the lid. Mm. It's just like bubbling out. Nervous, don't do that. 14, <laughs> 10, 15, it goes all the way down. Okay. There you go, you got all these going. Now who's doing the who's doing the judging? Who do we know? Everybody. Everybody's judging? Yep. Oh, okay, cool. Every child, adult, teenager, they come through. They're gonna they... feed it to children? Oh my god. I... Man. You're witnessing Jonestown. We're about to get the stream taken down. Okay? Chili Jonestown. Chili Jonestown. They sample and then they write the number they want, they give it to Mr. Mark. Listen, y'all. And he You're allowed to pass calculates. And winner. nobody's gonna try and rig this, huh? <laughs> Not on my watch. Okay guys, so here's the deal. Um I'm at the chili competition and I can tell you right now I'm not gonna win. Let me tell you why. Number one, I don't cheat. But number two, they're letting everybody here vote which one they think is the best, and I don't think that's good. I think you should have neutral. It's a cheat. They're letting chili. them vote. Let it... I don't know what's going on here. Is he gonna fucking sabotage the election? <laughs> I hope he. I hope. I hope he bombs the chili stand. <laughs> I'll show you. I'll show you. Bean electoralism. Not in my timeline. <laughs> designated He's got judges, a dead so hat on. I'm going to go on record saying that I'm probably not going to win today because I'm not going to tell Jack and his friends to vote for me. I'm not going to do that. So everybody's okay. going to go over and vote for the best chili possible. All right, but it's all in fun. There's no prize. There's no, no nothing. And it's the only time I'm doing this competition because I've already shown the recipe. So it's all okay. okay so here's beach. They put them against, they literally put beach players against, uh, Oh, Chaz almost caught yeah, that. She was really excited about playing. It's all good. I think she moved three feet. It's all good. Can we get a replay? Can we get Chaz an instant replay? Well, watch again. this girl's. Watch this girl's excellent play. Okay, everybody, chatters. Here's we're gonna do some sports analysis here. I've I've seen a sport in my life. Watch her sick play. What you're gonna see here is you're gonna see the. Uh, What's this position? I don't know. The, the 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 girl standing here, she's gonna move up forward and she's gonna be countering. Oh, sorry, that's wrong. That's a little bit of an overshoot. I'm gonna need to redraw here. She's gonna move about to right here <laughs> where she's going to continue doing a hearty blocking maneuver. Okay? So you'll see. You'll you'll see. Just watch this happen as it unfolds and right now. Oh, and you see the completion Chazel's of the maneuver. Got that. Perfect technique. It's all good. Just pristine execution. All good. Very proud. So we'll see where it goes. This is a good moment in sports. Um, an amazing moment <laughs> yeah, in this athletics. Yeah, this is be interesting. Uh, so basically they're playing the and field this way. We have three fields. Position. One, two, and three. So let's see what's going on here. Ah, ooh, ooh, the, the, the step to the side method. <laughs> Another good play. The get out of the way, go. please God, don't run me over method. Oh, and it yes. was missed. You can see out here, Didn't get this it. player. Uh, this player's definitely got a future in the game. Hold on, let's do it. Let's can we get a replay there? Oh, we can. Hold on, let's walk Didn't back here. It. Oh, we went too far. Here we go. We can see what we like to call. This is called a fumble. Uh, in in football, that's a uh, it's a it's a considered a great honor if you fumble the ball, especially during the Super Bowl. And it was so you'll missed. see you can see his Didn't ball go it. in, and he they drops literally it. put Jack's team yeah. against the hardest. The that's biggest why kid. that's why when you watch like really good sports, you hear the guy. It's like us. They go and then you hear a cheer and then he goes fumble. You know. <laughs> That's where it all comes from, everybody. He killed the dough. Have I killed the dough? I think I've killed the dough. I think I killed my dough. Oops. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Let's continue. And the biggest adults or whatever they are. So. Okay, so there were some nice people. Great chilies. I didn't win first, second, or third place. And I'm just a regular guy still. See? It's all good. Somebody <laughs> I else won. Win first, second, or third place. Did you win 20th place, Jack? Were you in last? I would not. I, oh, I could never have seen this coming when your only ingredient was the can of Chipotle peppers and some beans you found in your fucking closet that you didn't even wash. You just poured them in with the slime they come in. And congratulations to the winners of the. Uh, the chili bowl. Let's see. Congratulations to Beach High School, my son's team. All the guys from Beach High School 
uh, won in the Chili Bowl. They won the football award and all that. And they were the best team. And I think that's it. All right, guys. I will talk to you later. I hope you enjoy this recipe. If you make it, let me know how it is. All right? Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, yeah, stuff. yeah. These people, these videos. car dad people, like, dox themselves super easy. They don't got anything to worry about. Nobody fucking, you know, what, what, what are they going to do? Do a do a, a, a hate crime against a, a white guy at the church chili competition? Jesus Christ. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, self dox. Yeah, oh, yeah, this was a recipe? Wait, do you remember when he opened this talking about how he's going to fucking cream everyone? He was going to shit can those losers. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to be first place. It's going to be the best because they don't know about canned chipotle peppers that I bought at Safeway. Oh.